Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates house. So today I'm coming at you with a ginormous size thrifting haul. Please get yourself a snack, a drink, do some chores, wash some dishes, do whatever you gotta do, cause it's gonna be a long one. I will try to keep it fairly quick per item just to make sure we move quick. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't know the massive mishap that happened with eBay just a couple of weeks ago and I almost cried. I literally stayed up with the intention of getting months of work done in a few nights and I was up till three, four o'clock in the morning and I was getting all of these items listed into eBay drafts and out of nowhere, my pictures were deleted, my listings were incomplete, I don't know what happened and then eBay can't get into your drafts to help you figure out what's going on so they couldn't even help me it was just a horrible experience. And then the lady was so, oh, like I wanted to cuss this lady out. I was, uh, she was, I don't think she intended on being offensive. So I just told her like that was extremely offensive and I'm just going to take it as you don't understand the work that went into doing what you know I had to do. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'll figure it out myself. And so I left it at that and I have been going through every single inventory bucket, checking the inventory to see what needed to be listed and all of that stuff. And so it's just been so much, but I took it as an opportunity to get my inventory perfect as I like things. And thank goodness the system is very easy to work because I, you know, I always go through a process of elimination, remove steps that don't work and it made it a lot easier to go through and just make sure that everything was good. That being said, this is a massive haul. Get a snack, get a drink, get an out, you know, adult drink, do whatever you wanna do, wash some dishes and peek over whenever, I don't know, I'll add in a shutter sound when I have overlays or something like that so you guys know when to look at the camera. That being said, we are going to dive right in. I'll try to be quick with each item and I hope you enjoy this fantastic thrift haul because I enjoyed finding all of these things. We're gonna start off with some clothes items. I don't really do clothes often. If I do, it's usually athletic wear, but I found these and they were so cute and they were regular price, a size eight and a half for $7. And they are these gorgeous Kathy Lee collection. Like, I don't know, are these like loafers? Shoes, oh my gosh, adorable. So I did pick those up. They look gorgeous when they're on. Next clothes item is something for the shop. Those shoes were for me. This is a Tabasco tie. And in the video that I haven't edited <laughs> or uploaded, if I decide to do it, you'll see. You'll notice that I have a lot of Tabasco, not a lot, but I have several Tabasco things just kind of like popping out at me. And I love it. So there is that. It is a gorgeous Tabasco tie. And I don't remember, I want to say this was regular price but it didn't even matter so there's that okay so i've started to piece together pieces for our bedroom because our bedroom is not at all how i want it to be and i have like this vision kind of coming together but the unfortunate part is that i can't really make things final until we put the wall in our room to create a walk-in closet because right now i feel like it's like a dorm room or something it has like an open long skinny closet it's not cute anyway I have been picking up pieces for our bedroom and I felt like this was my type of makeup box. And I do believe it's a sewing box. It's got these nice long feet on them so that it can sit by a rocker or a sewing seat or something like that. It was $13 and it is in fantastic condition. I don't think it's too, too old, but you'll see here that the tops open in either direction and then they expand out beautiful everything looks fairly clean so i don't think it's too old but it's very pretty and i was like that is my kind of makeup box gives you some vintage vibes absolutely love that okay on to some frames like i said i'm gonna try to move quick uh this week blue tag was 75 percent off on monday because our goodwills do 75 percent off monday and this frame was $6, but I actually got it to gut it 
and do a mirrored effect on the glass to kind of antique the mirror and then put this into the market that we're gonna be doing in the fall. It's just a nice big frame, but I got it because the frame is very pretty, very vintagey looking. So I'm gonna be doing that and hopefully they sell fairly well. It's a nice big size and I only paid what, a dollar fifty. So, I mean, no matter what, it's gonna be a great profit on that. So I got that. Now these I actually picked up for embellishments. I got this little butterfly. It's probably like a home co or something. Burwood, Burwood 2000, oh no, Burwood products in 1970 something. This was $2 but I thought it was a gorgeous, gorgeous piece, but I actually got it to add as an embellishment on a piece of furniture that's maybe a little bland or a little flat. I think that is gorgeous with that nice detailing on the edge. So I did pick that up and all I would do is adhere it and then uh, paint over it and just get it all to coordinate and it will look beautiful. So I got that. And I also picked up this one. This one was $3, but it has the beautiful lady on there with that pretty, piece on the bottom. This one is Dart Ink. Very pretty detailing. So I picked that one up for three bucks. This one I did get for our room with the kind of decor style look that I'm going with. It's this pretty mirror. You can see all the goodies that I have right there that I'm going to be showing you guys. It's a pretty mirror, nice and long. Very pretty. And this one is $1.99. And what I love about this is that it can go into a nice tight space because it's not too wide. Maybe a good, maybe, I don't know, eight inches. Very pretty. Some more embellishment pieces. I found these for 99 cents and they're just really pretty, kind of like ceramic tiles, but they have gorgeous detailing on them. And I'm gonna be making modifications to our bed. The hubby built the bed whenever we first moved in, so his skills have definitely gotten better. So we will be addressing that whenever I start piecing together stuff for our bedroom. But I got all three of these at a dollar a piece. I figured these would make pretty corner pieces or like on a cabinet door that's kind of small and just kind of flat, very pretty. So I got those as well. Okay, so into some kind of like natural element type things. Check this out. I couldn't pass this up. I thought it was so cool. I knew the boys would love it. They were all using it and playing with it and stuff last night. So I know it was a good buy. They had it priced for $8 and it's this gorgeous box. And what's in it is actually a telescope. Very pretty. It's got this wrapped handle. And you can see the different panels right there. And then on the back side is like the little crumbled panels. And it looks beautiful whenever you point it towards the light and you use it. It's gorgeous and they absolutely loved it. So I am so glad that I picked that up for eight bucks. They will enjoy that just kind of randomly picking it up and playing with it. Next, I found this one for the shop. This one was $3 and it is just a cheese board. But I thought this was so mid-century modern, very clean line vibes. So nice. And this is Goodwood Genuine Tea, Teak from Thailand. And it was only $3 and it looks really, really good. It has this one little scratch right here in the rim. But to be honest, I don't even think that matters. I think it's a gorgeous piece. I just love how it's so simple. I think that would do very well in the shop. I can give it a nice little cleaning and then a nice little oil down and I think it would be great. So I did pick that one up for three bucks for the eBay store. This one is going to be for the fall market. This one was $3.99, but it was a blue tag. I don't know where the blue tag went. So it was 75% off on that day. I got it for a dollar. I like using baskets like this for my house whenever I'm entertaining. I put the spoons, knives, forks, and then napkins in here. We actually use plastic plates and we wash them at the end of the party. So we've always reused the same plates because we don't do styrofoam plates or anything like that. So it just depends on whatever you're gonna be using it for. You can do party napkins and utensils because we use, again, metal utensils and stuff whenever we entertain. So I think this would be a great item to throw into the fall market. Very pretty. So I got that for $1. And I also found this, this is a tea box and it's, 
from World Market and it doesn't have a World Market. Oh yeah, it was $15 at World Market and I got it for $3. And I think I'm just gonna put it in the fall market as well. Just kind of as is. It's a very nice box. Very pretty, very clean. And I think somebody will love that. So I grabbed that. Next, I found this. And I want to say this is for making cream or butter. I'm not positive. But if you know, let me know. It's definitely got to involve like squishing or pounding or something like that. I think this is either butter, a butter or a cream kind of thing. If you know, let me know. But it has a nice long handle. And it says USA on it. And it was only 99 cents. And I was so happy to get that. Two larger items. I have this gorgeous rooster cutting board because why not? He is a ginormous size. He was only five bucks. I think that is adorable. And if the hubby decides that he doesn't want to keep him, I will definitely clean him up, re-sand him and seal him with some beeswax and then put him into the fall market as well because he is gorgeous and a huge size. I did pay $5 for him and I think he was worth every penny. So I got him. If you've seen my craft room, you've seen that I use a cassette organizer kind of just like forced and shoved into a bookshelf and it stays holding because it's like really in there, like tight in there. And I found this one. I thought that was beautiful. So this is gonna be a personal item and I'll find a way to use it in my craft room, but it's perfect for ink pads. Next little wood piece that I found is this here. And I'm thinking this is for hors d'oeuvre picks. I could be wrong, but what I think I'm gonna do is repurpose it and put it into the fall market as an earring holder, because I think that is so cute. So I'll dangle a few earrings from there and see if anybody wants it. It is a beautiful little wood piece. I think it's gorgeous. And I did pay $1.99 for it. So I probably put like $12 on it and put it to the market and see if anyone likes it. It is so pretty. Okay, so we're done with the wood stuff. Now let's go ahead and just dive into some metals and like some glass stuff. First item is this little, I don't know, very DIY-esque metal, kind of like sheet metal punched rooster napkin holder. Has four little feet. It was $2. It's oily, so whoever used it kept it like by a grill or in the kitchen, by the stove or something. But I definitely think that would be a good little item. So I'm gonna clean that up and leave it as is and then just mark it up a few bucks. I feel like that is so cute. So I did pick that one up for $2. Next, onto some metal pieces. I found this pretty silver plate, kind of like jewelry box canister the whole lid comes off but it's got tape on there i'm gonna give it a nice polish and see what it looks like it is beautiful as is but that's what it would probably look like on the outside once i polish it it is a gorgeous gorgeous canister and i paid two dollars for it i'm a sucker for patina so i don't know i'm kind of torn i think i will polish it though and just kind of let it get its own patina here in our house but it is a beautiful piece nice and large it's like it's really pretty so i'm happy with that one i'm gonna be putting that in our room whenever i start adding in some decor guys can we just omg check out this gorgeous mirror beautiful look at that how nice i'm trying i'll cover the thing so it doesn't give you too much glare but look at how beautiful that is Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. I think I'm gonna put it on the wall upside down like that and hang it like that. This one was $3 and I felt like it was worth every penny. I'm so excited because it is a beautiful piece. So $3 for that, I am happy. Also $3 was this mirror here. I think it's more, it's definitely more modern, but very pretty. But I feel like I could antique this and make it super cool and grungy looking because this is just a little too clean and polished for me. I think if I antique the back, it will look extra special. So I got that, it was only three bucks. And if I decide to not keep it because it is all glass, that's kind of like, mm, then I might just put in the market as well. But it is a beautiful, beautiful glass mirror tray. Very nice. 
has this pretty little detailing here on the hardware, very nice. I found some of these and these are adorable. I have several different sets, they are vintage. I have the 4th of July set, I have something else, I don't even remember. I have two 4th of July, one of these now, and then some other sets. Anyway, these are cute. I will just piece, uh, take them out and put them on this nice vintage kind of like scroll rod that I have. I'll just take these off or I'll just take these out of this box and I'll hang them on that rod and I'll sell them at two bucks a piece. They are so cute. It's little. It's a little mouse, a little cat, dog, dog house, another little puppy, and then another kitty. And they're just adorable down there. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I paid $2 for that and I'll sell them individually because they do very well in my shop. Okay, next is this. I actually have picnic baskets with dishes and stuff, but I have a picnic basket that has all the stuff, but it doesn't have the thermos. So I'm so excited. This is by the Thermos brand. It's this gorgeous red plaid, whatever this pattern is. And it was only $3. I did open it. There's no cracks in the insulation. I am super happy to add that to our collection of picnic stuff because during the fall, we actually do bonfires out here and then the neighbors will post that they're gonna have a bonfire and you'll, you'll just go and join. It's just like how the community gets to know each other. You take hot chocolate for your kiddos, you take marshmallows for your kiddos, and you just jo you know join in around someone's bonfire or a fire pit because they cut down a tree or a tree fell or something like that, and it just it's a thing. So I picked this up and I am super excited because I will be taking this full of hot chocolate for the kiddos whenever we go bonfire hopping. <laughs> okay, check out this massive mocajete. It is four dollars and it is a marble one look at that i think i'm actually gonna ask alma if she wants this one because it is beautiful it is huge it is heavy as f a f and this is actually vintage walmart brand walmart the quality of walmart used to be so amazing i have found all porcelain beautiful pieces from walmart from back in the like late 60s, early 70s. So it's like totally different, but this is awesome. It's so heavy and I don't know if you can see, but that is how the old Walmart thing used to be. See if it focuses on that and not me. <laughs> anyway, so four bucks, not bad at all because that sucker is heavy. Okay, so I don't normally buy these because they are false graph and false graph isn't fantastic for reselling. But I don't know, something about them caught my attention. They are a speckled pottery, very light, creamy color. The handle is very Fiesta Ware-esque. I really like them and they look to be about a 10 to 12 ounce cup. And that's kind of what got my attention. I don't really like to get the smaller cups all the time that hold only six to eight ounces because I feel like that's not beneficial because if you're like me, you need a whole lot of coffee. So this though, I thought was super cute. They were 99 cents a piece, so $4 for the set. And I was kind of torn. I kind of wanted to keep them for us here at the house, but I don't know. I might just put them in the shop. There's a set of four and they were 99 cents a piece. I think that was worth it. And in the previous haul that I haven't even uploaded yet, I think it was in that one where I showed you guys a mug that I found of a cowboy like riding a bucking horse. And this is a cowboy riding a running horse. And I got them for the hubby because that is his future dream he wants to be a cowboy and a farmer and just like love on all of his animals and farms so I say why not anything to get him out of the position that he is in now in the profession that he's in even though he loves it I got a whole lot of opinion on it that or I have a lot of opinions for the people who have an opinion about something they know nothing about how about that anyway here's this I found this one. This one's actually for the shop. It is a stoneware pottery, oh, pottery like angel food cake baking dish. Hmm. It's like for, what is it? Angel food cake, cake pot, cake dish, even bread. I mean, it is so cool very nice it's a great size it's big and it's very deep 
and it was five bucks. And I was like, man, anybody who has like pottery or stoneware in their kitchen would love to have something like that. So for five bucks, I felt like that was an easy, I don't know, like $24 piece, if not more, cause that is just gorgeous. And I have to do some research, of course, cause I don't, I don't collect dishes like this, but I felt like somebody wants this. So I did pick it up for five bucks. It is gorgeous. Okay, so I found a blue onion plate. It was very pretty. I actually found two other ones with this one, but they were kind of cruddy looking and I was like, you know what? I don't even want to deal with it, but I know people like blue onion and I like it too. So I might just throw this in my collection of blue dishes, but I'm not sure because that's Staffordshire, very different pattern, very different feel. So if anything, I'll just throw it into the uh, fall market and just have it posted up and put a few bucks on it. I paid 99 cents, so not bad. I'm pretty sure someone would like it for about five bucks. So I picked up two of the green Bordayo Pinquero Portugal plates. They are gorgeous, but they are the pale green, not the super dark green. I have done really well with the dark green. Everything that I list pretty much sells. And this one is so pretty, I couldn't leave it there. I'll, even though it's a lighter green, I didn't even care. I was like, that is a beautiful plate. So I went ahead and picked up both of them. They were $2 a piece and I will be putting those into the shop as a set. Next is a Ray Dunn mug. It is just a small mug, not small mug, but it's just a mug that says refresh with a little water pail on there. I haven't found any of these online. So yeah, I don't know. I might put a quick 10 bucks on it, 10 to 12, because Ray Dunn always sells anyway. And mugs usually sell that people like or whatever and hold quite a bit. This looks like about a 16 ounce cup. It'll probably go for 10 to 12 easy. I just sold a Magnolia mug for 10 bucks. So yeah, um, there's that. And Ray Dunn just sells. I've had a few situations where the pieces don't make it. And that is so unfortunate. It seems like the season for that has kind of calmed down, like knock on wood, like Lord Jesus, I don't need this problem on top of everything else, please. But there was one time when I had a bunch of Ray Dunn stuff and like no matter what I did, it would arrive broken. And I was just, I was heartbroken. I'm like, oh. anyway. Next are some jars. I found this mason jar canister, not vintage, just something that I would use anyway because uh, I don't think you can see, but our pantry's right there and we have all glass jars and stuff in there. A lot of them that I use are vintage jars but these are good just to kind of add into the collection so that we can store different stuff in there i always alternate all the things that i put into these jars so it really doesn't matter i'm just happy to have one with a clamp with the seal and it was only two bucks for this big old jar so yeah all the check marks on that one next i found these two ball jars this one says ideal on it but this one says ideal patented July 14, 1908. So I don't know if this is an authentic, actual, like uh, old school jar or if it's a replica, but it, you can see right here that it did have the glass lid that this clamp would go onto and close onto. And the wire is very, very, very rusty. So I'm thinking this might have some age to it. Each one was $2. And I love the shape because they're tall, but they're also boxy. So I don't know, I think that is fantastic. I'm gonna be using these to probably put some beeswax lids onto or add some flowers into for the fall market. I think they are beautiful. They're so, so nice. So yeah, I got two of those at $2 a piece. Next, I found some really cool little cups and I feel like these are about four ounce cups, but they are awesome. And they were a set of eight for $4 and they have them taped together. But look at that, they're copper handles, copper and brass bases. And between the copper and the glass base is this cork lining. So how cool is that? And it doesn't look like vintage Libby. I can't see the glass like on this side, but I can tell that this one doesn't say L or anything like that. I don't know who the maker is, but this is gorgeous. And it's like that smoky black glass. 
I know for a fact these will go great in someone's bar for some whiskey or some shots or whatever. So I was excited to get those for $4 for eight. Next are a few more glass pieces. And I think that will be it for Goodwill. And then we can just dive into something else. I went with my mom yesterday and we were able to find these really cool apothecary style glass cork jars. So there's this really pretty yellow glass. I actually have a white jar identical to this one. It's not white, but clear, a clear jar identical to this one. And this one is yellow. I think that is so pretty. And it was only $1.99. I love to put stuff in these and put them into the baking hutch so that the light shines through and it looks so pretty in the sun. And then I have these two amber glass apothecary style jars. Now all of these say, let me see, this one says, I think this is France. And then this one and this one say USA. So that's awesome. There's this one here very cool i love these jars with the glass cork so nice how beautiful is that and then there's this one here and this one was 99 cents so was the other amber one 99 cents as well and it's got the little cork in there as well and so the corks when they're glass and they have this frosted look to them it's from continuous use of pulling the cork in and out so once it's frosted like that you know that it's because the bottle has been used quite a bit so that's what wears the glass down and it causes that frosted look and i think that is so cool so that one is 99 cents and so was that one very very pretty bottles so happy to find those okay so next we have pennywise which is a thrift store that is local in houston and katie i don't know if it's anywhere else beyond that it is a resale store, pretty much a thrift store, and their prices are typically very good. Also, they have a 50% off Purple Bag Thursday, which is when I like to go. You can buy the bag one time for $3, and every time that you take it on Thursdays, you get 50% off of your transaction. Really cool, you can find some good smalls and fit them all in that bag. Another really good thing that they do is they give you freebies so they have this area where they just put all this junk and like miscellaneous stuff or parts of things that belong to other things and maybe don't have a use for your aren't worth selling but you could actually pick them up and use them for something that being said i'll show you the freebies that we got first one is this pretty frame it's of a mother with her daughter in like a garden and you can see the two x's down there that was free but we are going to do the same antiqued mirror kind of thing to this and it's going to give us some really good practice on how to actually antique the mirror things and make it look good so there's that that one was free and then i got this one which is an actual mirror and this one was free as well you can see hashtag vintage baking station over there it is so beautiful but this mirror is really nice and it was free you can see the two X's up there, and I can't wait to see what they look like when they're all antiqued. A larger item that I picked up was this. It is $4, it's just a tray. Very pretty, nice wood tray. And it is by, looks like Wilfred or Wilf, Wilford Woods. Very pretty tray and it was four dollars and then <laughs> here is what i got on purple bag thursday so i went two weeks in a row and i've left my bag in the car plenty of time or i've left my bag at home plenty of time so now i have like three bags and i'll just show you what i shoved into each bag whenever i did go so the first item is this really pretty fabric frame so cute and it says tapestry from epcot disney 1988 i actually wasn't going to get it until i read that i was like that is so cool from disney like why for what i don't know but it's really cool 
So I got it for $2. I shoved it in like diagonal into the bag. Next, I found these. These are just some milk glass, uh, not votives, are they votives? They go onto the candle holders that go on the walls, sconce. The sconce is what goes on the wall. I don't know. Anyway, that's what these are. I found three different ones. They were just really pretty in this nice ruffled milk glass with the gold bands on there. And I don't remember what they cost. I wanna say these were freebies. I think these were freebies whenever I went and got the chair that the hubby's actually sitting in right now, that gorgeous vintage green chair. Oh my gosh, that one chair made me see this whole spot for what it wanted to be. And so I love that chair. Anyway, I think those were free. I wanna say those were free. Yep, I found the ticket for when I went in there, it was the $40 for the green chair. Okay, and then in here, I also have these, and this is because on that day, I really didn't find too much, so I really didn't get too much. The few things that I did get were super cute. I was able to get those milk glass votive things for free because of the chair that I bought. Anyway, there were these basket weave like vases, so pretty with this dainty little rose on there, super simple but it's basket weave, like that'll never go out of style. That is so pretty. They were $2, so I paid a dollar a piece and I did pick up four of them. They look like that. And I don't know if they're vases or if they're cups. I wanna say they're possibly cups, but anyway, they're super pretty and I absolutely love them and I know somebody else will. I'm gonna do some research on them to find out what they are because I don't know. I wanna make sure I have the right listing, but they're nice. <laughs> he said, it does. <laughs> Are you going out? You yeah. should go, Daddy. Give me a call, Daddy. You should go take it out of the trash. We gotta put up that. Uh... The chicken food needs to go. It's a little close. Oh, okay. okay. That thing is full. Mm -hmm. Next, I found these candle holders, and I believe these are porcelain because they're very white, but they are so pretty, and I think they're tulips. So, so pretty. Now, these were priced for $4, and I didn't want to pay $2 a piece for all of them because they had several. I think they had about eight to 10, and I wasn't sure. So I decided to pick them up at $4 a piece because they fit in the bag, so they were $2 a piece. And I'm be I believe this is a vintage Taiwan shaped uh, product sticker. So I wanna say these are vintage Taiwan. Anyway, they're gorgeous porcelain candle holders. They are adorable. And when I went this last time, which I'll just jump into that stuff because I don't have any more in the bag. I found two more for $1 a piece because Pennywise always marks stuff down occasionally, like after it's been there for whatever time, they'll mark it down and then they'll just put it into the dollar section no matter what it is. We went this last time, there was like strollers for a dollar, there were big mirrors for a dollar, there was a bunch of clothes for a dollar, shoes for a dollar. Uh, they had a punch bowl with all the glasses for a dollar. Like they don't play, they wanna move stuff. So if it's there and it just takes for not forever, but if it takes long to sell, they'll mark it down and then they'll just send it on its way. Anyway, I was able to find two more, which is fantastic because that's two sets of these gorgeous porcelain tulip candle holders. Now, why does that matter who even uses candle holders? I do, I love candle holders. I love brass candle holders. I love anything that looks cool, like in a place. As you can see, I have candles going right there. But the best part is guys, those are battery operated, but they are on a remote system. So I could actually turn them on and set them to a two, four or six hour or eight hour timer. I can also change the setting from light to candle. So light would just be the light is on. Candle is that flicker that you see and they are super affordable. It comes in two sets of four with two remotes with the battery already in them and they are AAA batteries, two a piece, LED candles. 
so so worth it to get that total vintage vibe when you walk into a room i always want to uh, have my candles lit i have like vote i have candlesticks everywhere but i can't use them all because they're all actual candles so i was like you know what let me look up some candles so i will leave it linked down below for you guys i'll put an affiliate link if you go to it i'll get i don't know i've never even known how to like really do affiliate stuff so all i know is i'll leave you my link anyway I suggest those candles. They are absolutely beautiful. They look like candlesticks with like dripping wax and the candle flicker is so pretty. If you can see them, it's just so pretty. And I was like, oh my God, this is fantastic because I love like the whole concept of walking around with a candle holder, you know, like back in the day and stuff like that. But I would rather just have a candle, like I had one on that table, but it wasn't a battery operated one. And it looks so good and the kids could actually like sit there with light but um i didn't want them turning it on i went i didn't want the candle on you know just dangerous because they get silly when they're playing games so i figured why not put them up there and just get the battery ones anyway to summarize i like candle holders and you can use actual candle sticks that look beautiful they are they do have a wax exterior led lights all that it's fantastic so i picked up four of those and i do believe that somebody will love to have those Next, I found this little pig mug. OMG, is he not the cutest? Now, I don't know if this is a Dollar Tree mug. I don't know where he's from, where he's been, but he is cute. And I got him for a quarter. Oh my gosh. And guys, I think this is porcelain. This is not ceramic. This is so bright white and smooth. It's got glazing all over. This is a porcelain pig mug and I definitely need to do some research on him. He could go for an easy $12. He is adorable. I love him. Look at that little gray eyes. So precious. So I cannot wait to get him listed in the shop. He's so cute. Okay, so I'll try to make this story short. So I think I've, I think I've started to get a grip on my decor style. I love authentic vintage. I have been trying my hardest to not purchase modern day mass produced decor. Reason being is every time I do, I love it for a little bit and then it just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't give me that same, it's like almost like an instant gratification kind of thing, but it's not long term. It doesn't felt like long lived. And then by the time I'm kind of reevaluating my space, it's always the modern pieces that have to go. and. I finally said, you know what? I'm only embracing vintage decor. I want touches of antiques and touches of like old time and original. I want to keep my functional pieces such as my baking, baking station, my baking island, my hutches. I want them all to be the white, distressed, all that. But I wanna have touches of natural things the way they are. And I feel like that just brings it like together and it makes it homey and it's not too bright and too washed. I love it. I feel like it just adds some warmth and I love that. So that being said, I found an antique table and it is gorgeous. It literally pulls out to like a 12 foot freaking table. But whenever I bought it, she didn't tell me that that's what it was. And I don't even know if she knew because whenever I found the little latch to open the table, there was literally like 20 years worth of dust in there. And she told me that she had the table for 20 years and it just sat um, by a wall and she would have decor on it, but she never did anything with it. And it was 50 bucks. And she said she paid $50 for it 20 years before, but just wanted to move it and just make some room. So I got it for 50 bucks and I found this little latch and I opened it up and there was literally a quarter to a half inch of dust built up in these spaces where you wouldn't see them unless you open the table because the whole table was just like in perfect condition. You could tell she polished her furniture and all that, but I don't think she ever opened it. Long story short, I extended the table. She doesn't know that there's an extent, you know, she doesn't know that there's an extension or whatever, or maybe she just forgot over the years. And so she didn't offer any leaves and all of that. And so I was like, oh my goodness, if I could just find table leaves, that would be fantastic. And I told you guys all this on Instagram, so just go forward if you already know. So I go to Pennywise, right? And I've been going and you know looking and I've been seeing these table leaves propped up against the wall in the free area. And I was like, 
I wonder if those table leaves were free because I looked around and there was no table that they went to. And so I told the hubby when they were gonna go get a piece of furniture, which is another haul and shows you how great God is. So I'll go into that later, but went to Pennywise on the way to go get a dresser. And I asked the manager, I said, hey, do, do those table leaves go to anything? And he said, they sure don't. He goes, a customer bought something uh, didn't take the table leaves and for whatever reason they haven't come back to get them and it's been weeks he's like so if you want them take them and I was like got it I was like thank you so much so I got these two table leaves they're about I don't know like two and a half feet or I don't know not two and a half feet well yeah because if it's like a 12 foot table that was about a good 14 inch gap or something like that anyway I brought them home and y'all I was driven I was so determined to see if these table leaves fit I took off all the hardware, all the wood frame on the bottom, all of everything. I just left the uh, pegs where they kind of like push together so that they stay firm in the table. And I just left those and I put them on there. Y'all, I have a full length table. I have like a 10 foot table now. It is awesome. I cannot believe it. It is so amazing for 50 bucks. And it was really worrying me because that table is where we had our farm table and that's where we would sit family, the adults, whenever we would have like Christmas dinner or something like that. And I was kind of like, dang, I'm gonna have to figure something out or we're gonna have to eat outside and what if it's cold and you know, whatever, whatever. So went to Pennywise, got free table leaves that fit my table. Now the color's totally different. And that's where this next thing comes in. The color's totally different, but I was like, you know what? Put a table cover, embellish it, whatever, let it drape like long over the sides on the center and leave the ends exposed, whatever. And no one will ever know, but it would make for a great story. So this is where that comes in. This was $4 and it is a gorgeous, kind of like lacy curtain in a flower or floral print with these beautiful little scalloped ends. Look at how pretty that is. I feel like it looks like a veil and it is just so nice. Anyway, this was $4. Look at the big, like the big dips on this side. So beautiful. Imagine that hanging off the table and kind of hovering over the floor. It's just so nice. So I found this one for four bucks and this is going to embellish the center of the table to drape over the edges so that nobody knows that those leaves don't go to that table because there's no wood fronts to kind of link all the pieces of the front of the table together. So I'll put a cream style or a solid uh, table cover down the center and then I'll drape something like this over it to add a beautiful embellishment or design and I'm just so in love with it all. So I picked that one up for that table. All right, so the next Purple Bad Thursday trip, as you can see, these things have been used and abused. <laughs> anyway, in that bag, I got this. It is a candelabra. Now, it is missing one little candle holder here, but that doesn't matter because I actually have a little tiny flower candle holder. It's a brass one that looks like you never even know anything was missing. I just set it on there with the candle and you'd never know. So I was super excited about that. It is a five candle holder and it would look beautiful on the center of a table, whatever, with my LED candles going back there. So awesome and it's a big piece. So I'm so happy about that. This one was $5 and since I fit it into the bag, it was only $2.50. That is definitely my kind of purchase price. The next few items were actually in the dollar section, so you can't put these into the bag and get them for 50 cents. That's not how it works. Dollar section is only $1. But I found these gorgeous wood candle holders, and you can see that one has the little brass edge and this little framed back here. Very, very pretty, super solid for $1. I walked through there and I was like, OMG, like how did someone just leave these here? And then there was a little wood shelf and if you don't know, I love little shelves like this in random spaces, like in my pantry. Up there in my pantry, there's a little shelf and it has little vintage seasoning bottles on there. And they are just fantastic to just tuck into random spots. So you look around and you're like, oh wow, what is that? Or what cool thing is there? So I picked that up for $1. I also picked up this one and it comes with the free patch of dust and hair. It is just a shelf 
and you could use that for anything pretty much. You could put yourself your own little candle there. You could put it in your kitchen and then rest your rings on there whenever you're doing dishes. You could put this pretty much anywhere. So for $1, I got that one as well. And the last one that I found for a dollar was this one. It is another candle holder with the brass rim. Very pretty for one buck. You cannot beat that. Okay, so let's see what's in the rest of the bag. Like I forget <laughs> because I had so much to do with the eBay store, which is almost depressing, but this is exciting to go through and see what I got. So I found this, this one was $3 made in Italy. It's just this like espresso coffee pot thing. It is gorgeous and it has all of its parts except for the little handle. Has the strainer and everything in there. And I believe how this one works is you put the coffee there with a little bit of water and then it bubbles up through this uh, hole right here in this little spout and then the coffee or espresso goes into the top half. So that is pretty awesome. It looks to be pewter or aluminum. It says made in Italy. It's just very, very pretty. Love that. And we use a percolator for our morning coffee because it's so awesome and just delicious. So I thought that'd be a great addition to the house. So a buck 50 for that one. Next, I actually just found one of these. It is a hand painted in Holland Delft tile. But the one I found recently was a little different. Very pretty and I believe I already have it listed in the shop. This one was a dollar, so I paid 50 cents for it. How great is that? Delft does very well. Next, I found these and I just thought these were super cool. Very, I don't know, very 1800s kind of, 19 early 1900s. Look at that. What is that, like Art Nouveau? Yeah, very Art Nouveau. They're just coasters with cork backs, tiles with a P. So cool. Now I don't like, I don't like the letter P and I don't like it on everything. I really don't. But on these, it looks super cool. A little semi goth, but still like botanically kinda. So I really like these and I did pick them up to have and put somewhere to embellish for me. Found a brass candle holder for $3. So I paid $1.50 just because. On the other side of this fireplace, I have all brass uh, pieces up on the mantle and I love it. I love it. It is just giving me all the feels. And then we hung this little, not chandelier, but it was like a light fixture with all these like little beads hanging from it. And so now when we're in there eating, um, so now when we're in there to give like a little ambiance lighting, I turn on that one instead of the lights the inset lighting because it's so bright and and the hubby actually really likes it so this will probably make it to the other side of the fireplace next found this little amber glass it was 50 cents so i paid a quarter i just love amber glass i i'm drinking out of a roly-poly vintage libby amber glass as well mm. y'all if you don't follow me on instagram and you don't know nothing about this. It's so good. It's, co it's cranberry juice and this coconut drink that they sell at Aldi. Y'all, I went to Aldi, right? Cause I was like, I, <laughs> I need some of my coconut drink and I haven't been able to find it. So I go to Aldi, the whole wine shelf is completely stocked going like 10 back. The one, the one row that did not have anything in it, or no, I'm lying. It had one bottle in it. The one row that only had one bottle in it was the coconut that I told you guys about on Instagram. That's why I ain't telling y'all nothing no more. I'm not telling y'all no more, cause it's so good and y'all don't leave me any. But you do half coconut, half cranberry. Oh, so good. Next, I found this really cute, dainty little jewelry box. Now, usually stuff like this does not get my attention. Usually I don't really care for stuff like this, but I kind of felt like this color is something that somebody wants. 
So I got it and it was $3, but I paid $1.50. And I think I would put it into the shop for about $12 because it is very pretty. It's almost like a home craft kind of trinket jewelry box, but it's so pretty. It's like a peachy, pale, pink, apricot -y kind of color. I don't know, but it is so nice. And look at that flower and that little like ruffled, almost like seashell like edge. It is so pretty. I don't even, I don't know. I just thought somebody out there wanted this. So I had to get it to put it into the eBay store. But it's so nice. I don't know what it was. Something made me get it. It looks like a, like an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> anyway, so pretty, got that. Okay, and then the last two items in my purple bag were these silver plated tongs. Very cool claw feet or claw little hands. Loved those. These kind of remind me of like the traditional, almost like dragon type claws or more like a gargoyle claw. And this one reminded me of chicken claws. So yeah, I thought those were super cool for serving. They are $3 a piece, so I paid a buck 50. So nice. So I picked those up for entertaining and I will put them into the buffet dresser underneath our TV in the living room because that is where I keep the containers of all of my serving wear. Oh, so I actually got a dresser, right? And I we went to go pick it up. I'm turning that dresser also into a buffet in that area right there where that table is. That's the antique table. And I'm gonna put it right there in front of the window, that way, in front of the window. And that's gonna be my new buffet where I keep my linens, where I keep my placemats, where I keep my doilies and all of that stuff for setting up the tables because I like to play tea time. Not really, but whenever I set things up, I want it to be pretty and I like all of the things. So they're all gonna be going into the dresser on that window. Hi, dude. What package? Probably mine. How is she staying? It's very light. Just so you can tell like the awesome prices, here's a receipt and the total is $11.50. Awesome. Okay, so next is another thrift store. This is Value Village and this one isn't too big so I'll just move quick. If you don't know, I moved my mother in, I don't even know how long ago now, maybe a couple months ago by this point. I moved her in, so the house has just been topsy-turvy and like going through cycles and just like, I mean, it is definitely showing its performance ability. Let's just put it like that. Anyway, with my mom here, we're back to our old routine where we used to go shopping all the time and all of that, but I also have to kind of, you know, get all this stuff situated with my eBay inventory that's extremely frustrating. But whenever, before that happened, we were hitting up Value Village, we went to King Dollar, we went to the thrift store. Anyway, we went out to Value Village in Houston, found a few goodies, and this is what I got. First item is this. I actually have one of these already. So when we went that day, everything in the store was 50% off. They have, they had such a huge stock. Usually I think it's the second week of every month on Wednesday they mark things down or everything in the store is 50% off, but they were extending the sale. So it was like three days in a row or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we were either a day early or a day late than what it would have been, but they said, no, everything is 50% off because we're trying to clear out. So we got everything 50% off. I have one of these in my eBay store now because I transitioned everything from my Etsy store into my eBay store because Etsy is awesome for DIY stuff, like for junk journals and all of that. Every time I list a junk journal, it sells quick. And vintage decor though, just kind of sits. With eBay, stuff moves so fast. So I've learned kind of like my eBay store is gonna be for all my vintage stuff and then my Etsy shop will be for all of my DIY stuff. I have one of these, but it has a cork lid inside. This one has a ceramic lid. And this one is by, I think Marshall Potteries or, oh, the House of Webster Ceramics in something Texas. So that's pretty cool. It's local and it says $3.93. So we'll just round it up four bucks. I got it 50% off. So $2 and these resell for about 18 bucks. 
16 to 18. So that's awesome. I think the one that I have listed is 14 because it doesn't have the ceramic lid. So this one I'll just do regular market rate for about 18. Really cute, very good condition, no chips, cracks or anything like that. So I'm gonna be putting that in the shop. Next are these marble base candle holders. Very pretty, they have some nice weight to them. They were $3 a piece, rounded up. So I got them for a buck 50 and they're super nice. So I got those, a set of two. I think typical candle holders would be an easy $13 for the two. So this is probably about, I don't know, like $16 within the two. I'll definitely have to look though because marble, anything with marble tends to sell better, but I don't like to make the price high if the item is too heavy because the shipping is also gonna be heavy but I don't make any money off of the shipping off of the, but I don't make money off of the shipping. So I have to also be fair on myself with market, right? Anyway, I'll see what I list those as next. I found this vent cover. I know these sell very well. This one was 191. So 50% off of that. It's like what a dollar. So that's cool. I know everybody's always looking for vintage vent covers and this will probably resell for about $25 new in the package so cool check that out i love that that is so pretty so there's that okay so in the old house when we redid our kitchen we had open shelving concept all that stuff we absolutely loved it total ikea vibes but at that point i didn't realize how much i adored vintage so i have all of my ikea knives and stuff like that that i really do enjoy but i wanted some kind of old school good quality handle or wood handle knives and stuff like that. In my utensil drawer, we actually use vintage utensils with beautiful wood handles and stuff like that. Anyway, so, so when I went to Value Village, I decided to dig around and see if I could find some good or really cool wood handle utensils. I did find a few things, so that's what I'm gonna show you now. First item was this. I was like, what is this? This is so cool. It is an angel food cake slicer. How cool is that? I actually used this recently in my stories on Instagram because I like to share all of those things with you guys to give you all the vintage vibes. Um, I sliced up banana bread with this and it was just so cute. And I was so happy to use it. And I do believe it was $3, so half of that, and it was a buck 50. How beautiful is that? OMG, and I can't wait to add it to my baking area because it's so cool. Next is this knife. This one is Flint Stainless USA. Gorgeous, long blade knife. Kind of looks like a bread knife. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife. So I got that one. And you can see it has the grooves in the handle. So when you use it, your fingers set in there nicely when you're holding it. Very good. So there's that. And they cover all the blades with, or I guess all the big blades with tape. Then I picked up this vintage Foley's, remember Foley's, vintage Foley's, um, Sheffield, England stainless knife set. And I believe these are butter knives slash steak knives. Cause they have a nice little like good teeth on the ends or on the tip, but then the bottom is kind of like flattened out. I don't know. Anyway, picked up three of those. Those are really nice. And then I picked this up as a spreader because we use that. So pretty self-explanatory, butter, cream cheese, goat cheese, whatever. And all of them were like 90 cents. So half of that, 45 cents or something or other. And I got that. 
My mom picked these up for her and Boogie because she thinks she's gonna be doing marshmallows with these things. She don't know a bonfire because that will melt your hands off. That is way too short. <laughs> to do marshmallows in the bonfire. <laughs> you scared, you scared catch on fire. What about for um, olives? That'd be better. Maybe, yeah, for olives. There you go. Good shot, Jordan. So he said maybe olives. <laughs> okay, so there's that. This one was three bucks, so a buck fifty. All right, next is this Capice shell with this fabric combo tray. So cute. I don't even know like what, maybe granny chic or vintage boho, or I don't even know. Like, it's so cool. It was 5.45 or something like that. So half of that, adorable. I thought that was so precious. For my fabric lovers, boho lovers, it's so pretty. So I picked that one up. Next, I found these two gorgeous frames. They were hiding under all of this stuff like shoved way down into some like inside of a toy thing or whatever under all these blankets. And I looked down and I saw these flowers. I saw the red flowers and I was like, what is that? And so I had to grab it. It is R&P Art Supplies, Houston, Texas. This one was $3. Look at that. So I got it for a buck 50. How beautiful is that a buck 50 oh am gosh that is gorgeous now at the top of my house we don't have like like ceilings here if you go look up it's uh beams and the ceilings go to like 22 feet and the fireplace has a uh, sheetrock that goes from here then it frames out and there's sheetrock that goes up the rest of the way. Well, since there's no ceilings, the walls on this side above me where I'm at, just like a frame right here, there's a ledge and where each beam is, there's a section. And so I was like, you know what? What if I start putting art in those sections between the beams and get beautiful pieces that are just great conversation pieces or just really nice to look at and just get them for a few bucks and just fill in those spaces. Cause I mean, why not? They're gorgeous. So yeah, I don't know. I thought that was beautiful. So I picked up that one. It's fantastic. I have several other pieces that I haven't hauled, but you know what? I got too much going on. There's this one as well. It looks like someone took this image and then went through and colored on the image and then framed it. That's what it looks like. So it looks like that. It's two women, very, very 1800s, 1700s, very 1800s, so pretty. Anyway, they're sitting there and you can see there's like red and yellow and then more red. I feel like someone went through and colored it and then put it into this frame. It is so nice. So, so nice. So I picked that one up and that one was $4. So I paid $2 for that. And I love this, this hanger on here. It's so pretty, it's brass. All right, last few Value Village pieces are scarves and I use the scarves as runners. I use them as embellishment on the fireplace or on the mantle. I actually hang them on hooks as decor to coordinate with the space. I found this one and I do believe each one of these were like, I don't know, like two to three dollars. So half of that, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I'm showing it to you backwards. <laughs> anyway, that's what it looks like in the front so pretty and so I will be hanging these I will be draping these I will be using them as runners I'll use them draping over a chair so nice so so nice that way whenever I go out in the mornings in the fall or in uh, towards the winter I'll grab them and go out and feed the chickens and stuff and throw them on my head real quick because they're here also got this one 
Another very pretty one. This one has little pom-poms on the end. Cute little stitching. Ooh, it's fairly long. And then nice fabric, almost sheer. And then it has the same stitching on the end. Very long. This is very long. And then I got this one. This one is lacy with this kind of like divided pattern in the center. This is gorgeous. I feel like this, I don't know. I feel like this is fancy. So I picked that up, beautiful. So maybe $2 a piece. I can totally live with that. So I debated on showing you guys the rest of the stuff that I got whenever I went to go pick up that dresser, but I do think I'm gonna just leave this one here and then try to edit that other video and then upload this one or edit and upload this one and then try to do that video because this is already a lot. Like this is a lot, my throat is all dry, it's a lot. So that is pretty much it for this ginormous size vintage thrift store haul. So many absolutely adorable finds for pennies, which is my kind of shopping. I can't wait to incorporate a lot of these pieces into my own home. I can't wait to kind of clean up and make other pieces beautiful for the shop and get all of that stuff into the shop because it's been stressful. And then after I do that, I'm gonna have to go out and it's gonna be outdoor project time because we have a fall festival that we are planning. We have a fall market that we are gonna be participating in. We have a lot of things and y'all is like, I guess if you're not a little uncomfortable, then like, what are you doing, right? But y'all. But that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite find was or let me know what your favorite find was that you have come across lately. Share with us. If you know any history of the items that I showed you guys, feel free to share down below because you guys teach us so much in the comments. If you know anyone that enjoys this kind of content, go ahead and share the video with them. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell on your way out to be notified of new videos whenever I do post. I almost didn't say that right. You can follow me on my social medias where I am the most active on the daily basis. Is uh, my Instagram at Bates House or the Bates House or hashtag Bates House pretty much anything and we will be there. I'll try to remember to leave the candle links down below. Look, they're off. Check this out. Remote control. Which one is that? Y'all look on two hour timer. Yep, it got, OMG guys, they're so cool. I love those. So yeah, I'll try to remember to leave my affiliate link down below for those candles cause they are so cool. And that is pretty much it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.